ריך שיין כבוד מלכי סוי, ליהוי למבואד. בוריך שיין כבוד מלכי סוי, ליהוי למבואד. persecution that the state of Israel has ever perpetrated against the Jewish people happened in 1948 when they dared to call themselves the state of Israel when they dared to refer to themselves as a Jewish state do you know That a week after the flotilla incident, Jews in Turkey were scared to leave their houses. They didn't even go to the synagogue because the local residents of Turkey blamed them and would hold them accountable for the acts of the state of Israel. That is the most insidious crime that that state has committed against our people. They thought in their great brilliance that in order to eliminate anti-Semitism and in order to protect the Jewish people, we have to change what the Jewish people are from a religion, a mamleches kaihanim, a goy kodosh, to a nation of soldiers and warriors. What in the world is a Jewish state? Can you tell me? I know what a Jewish person is. I know what a Jewish philosophy is. But the adjective Jewish does not accommodate the noun state. It's like saying a Jewish tree, a Jewish car. What does it mean? The only way the Zionists were able to create a Jewish state for the noun state to accommodate the adjective Jewish is to change the definition of Jewish. They thought that by now all the Jews in the world, all that matter anyway, will be remade in their own image. That the world would be at peace with them. that they'd be able to vanquish their enemies with their armies. And now they see that we still live. They see that we are here and we are rapidly expanding and they see that we raise our voices. They see that they are a failure. And that's why they hate us. This is the greatest crime committed against the Jewish people by the Zionists, the identity theft. We Jews are blamed in the eyes of the world. We are held accountable for the actions of the state of Israel. We need to tell the world that Zionism is not Judaism. We need to tell the world that the state of Israel is not Judaism. our elected officials. They do not speak in our name. We need to tell the world that that credit card that they're using to do whatever they're doing was stolen from us. We don't want credit for what they do and we don't want accountability for what they do. And to you, to you Mr. Netanyahu, do you... Do you recognize these words? You should. Because this is Judaism, untwisted and undistorted. We will fight until we will triumph and triumph we will. Because you know what, Mr. Netanyahu, we do not fight alone. At our side are generations of Jews. At our side are the six million Kedoshim. And at our side... is our Rabbeinu Shalolam, who has kept us alive for 2,000 years. 
One of the reasons being is because we were not Zionists. Mr. Netanyahu, you could bring your Air Force and your army to fight us, but we will triumph because what we have on our side, you are outnumbered.